Straightforward in the end for Manchester City and then some beating Schalke by seven goals to nil at the Etihad. 10-3 on aggregate. Pep Guardiola's side safely through to the next round. And it's kind of tough for us because what do you say really after a result no, I, like this? I, I, well, I don't think it's a barometer of where City are in this competition because that they, you know, in the end, Schalke were just cannon fodder. Mm. They're struggling. They deserve to be in the Champions League because they earned the right and they earned the right to be in the knockout. But they're struggling in the Bundesliga this year. They're not having a great year. Uh, the fact that it was a, ga a close game in Germany was more to do with the fact City were a bit sloppy and they had the man sent off. This was a, this was a clinic. Yeah. You know, it was an absolute clinic from all the key players and. You know, it was just embarrassing in the end, but it must have been a joy to watch for City fans because they absolutely played out their skin. At the end of the game, I was thinking, it's a good job they went to VAR for pretty much every goal <laughs> because that saved about 10 minutes where Shocker could have lost another three or four. <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm taking from this game because they were abs... It's difficult to say whether they were absolutely awful right. or City were really good because City made it look that easy that it made Schalke look bad, so... I guess you can go somewhere in the middle, but I mean, this was just a walkover. Bookies have City as favourites. It's mm -hmm. difficult to put an argument against that, isn't it, at the moment? In a, in a competition that is wide open, and you look at Manchester City and, and what they, I think, what they can become. Not only what they are right now, but I think what they can become. I think they can be even better. Uh, I find a Manchester City team, a make of the numbers, whatever you want. But when you see that in the passes completed, it's over 500 passes more than Schalke in a 90 minute game. It gives you an idea how dominant they are when they're clicking, when there is player interchange, when there's passing and moving. All of those things from Manchester City, they do better th than anybody else in the Premier League, and clearly they do better than most in Champions League as well. Manchester City is a favorite in this competition, for sure. Favorite? Yeah. The favorite? Yeah, I mean, it's close with obviously the, you know, see UV and Barca in particular, but they're only they're 90 minutes away from a from a bad result mm. and we saw that last year at yeah. Anfield yeah. you know and that that's the downside of this competition against the real big boys you can make mistakes like they did in Germany against Schalke and get away with it you don't against the better teams so yeah favourites but you know it, it's I think last year was a big warning for them because I thought they were pretty much favourites last year sure. and then obviously Liverpool yeah. barreled them out pretty easily in the end the numbers the numbers and the stats Kind of reminds you of Barcelona with the possession mm. and the passing and the this and I mean I mean everything the amount of goals you name it, but the only thing is they do not have the Champions League and mm. the trophy cabinet right and that's I think the only reason why we say well favourites yes but because from the stats absolutely favourites gentlemen thank you very much just a reminder a lot more from the boys that we reflect on that incredible result in Turin. Uh, plus, of course, looking ahead to tomorrow's games, you can join us on Plus, available later today.